Um, what Jared said, uh, he said that juveniles need something to fear in order to learn from their mistakes. And if juveniles were sent to juvenile delinquent centers, they would still learn from their mistakes. They could get rehabilitated and uh, there would be psychiatrists there and they could learn from what they did. Whereas if they went to adult prisons, <clears throat> um, they would just be beaten and threatened and their main goal would be to try and stay alive and not get beaten rather than to learn from their mistakes. Um, also, Alicia said that juveniles cannot just walk away from the crime they committed, but if juveniles were sent to delinquent centers, they wouldn't just be walking away. They wouldn't be let off the hook. They would still be punished for their actions, just in a more appropriate manner for their age. Um, also, juveniles who have been detained in adult prisons are 75% more likely to commit a severe crime once they get out of the adult jails rather than uh, the juveniles who are detained in juvenile centers. They don't commit, they aren't as likely to commit crimes once they come out of jail. Uh, the LA Times uh, from an article um, by the LA Times, it says that <clears throat> they recognize that some people who commit crimes before they have developed a resistance to peer pressure and an adult's brain power, judgment and moral capacity remain dangerous even after years of punishment. And that was said by Senator Leland Yee, a Democrat from San Francisco. Uh, this quote just explains that a teenager's brain isn't fully developed yet, and of course it's wrong to kill someone, uh, but if they're able to be rehabilitated in a juvenile delinquent center, why wouldn't we want, uh, why wouldn't we want kids to learn from their mistakes? Um, when youths are tried as adults, their young lives are ruined, and although they have been broke, they have broken the law, and uh, although they have broken the law and ended up in jail, uh, they're at vulnerable ages. The brain is not fully developed, and today juveniles who are tried in adult courts are looked at as complete adults, and they're not. <clears throat> Um, also, being tried as an adult means that the juvenile offenders, oh, uh, juvenile offenders will receive mental health treatment or even no education. Imagine being 13 years old, making a mistake, and ending up in prison for life and not getting to finish your education. What a shame. Okay.